It's Benita. I'm back in Toronto. Um, I've been back for about two weeks now. Um, is it two weeks or a week? I don't know. Probably just a week. Yeah, a week and change. Um, I know I have a couple videos to do. Um, one is what I finally um, packed in terms of makeup. And the other one is my haul, obviously. Um, the problem with my haul from Hong Kong and Tokyo is that a lot of the stuff I had to send via like uh, postal instead of bring it back with me because my luggage was way over in terms of um, weight and stuff. So I didn't get to bring back everything I had bought. So I'm actually kind of waiting for the shipment and then uh, I'll see. Um, so let's get started on something simple. Um, I need a new, new sharpener. So um, my friend Yumi, when I was in Japan, she recommended the um, Makeup Forever one. So I got it. I've used it, as you can see. Um, and it's good because it, it's got the cover on the top. And um, it's got both the little one and the small one. Oh, by the way, you guys didn't see my nails. Look at I got these done when I was there. Um, yeah, they're kind of crazy, huh? Whoops. Anyways, um, yes, they get in the way, and yes, I work with them, but I don't know how I do it, but anyways, um, yeah, so I got this so that it's like the small and the big one. I had another one from Quo, which is a brand, a local brand at Shoppers uh, at our drugstore here, uh, but I broke, and I figured I'll spend a little bo bit more and get a better one, and, um, and you're shaking because I have you in my pillow. Um, I'll get a better one so that... Um, you know, last me a little longer. Um, next, um, I got a Laura Mercier uh, Fair Blonde Eyebrow Pencil as a backup. So this one is actually just um, my, the one I'm using right now. Um, I always get, whenever Sephora has these little sales or um, a gift certificate, I always go and grab one of these um, so that I always have a backup. Um, I don't remember how much it is, but um, this is Fair Blonde, and that's the color. Um, I usually put this on my brows, and then I use their um, eyebrow definer, which is kind of like a wax and a gel. Like, it's in a little container. It's also by Laura Mercier, and I use it to go over and finish drawing, like, or filling it in instead of using a shadow. Um, and it works for me, so um, that's that. And then I got the NARS um, eyeshadow in Ashes to Ashes. And it's a really pretty, like, taupey kind of color. Um, I'm going to swatch it. This I've wanted for a long time. This is what it looks like. Um, I've wanted for a very long time. I just never got around to getting it because, I don't know, I just figured, oh, like, I'll... I'll get it. It's not something that you actually need, but it's nice to have. So, um, so I got that. Next, I got the Urban Decay Mariposa uh, palette. And I know a few gurus have talked about this already. Um, so I'm, I won't swatch all the colors because you guys, it's not new. So you've probably seen it. This is what it looks like. Um, so far, I've used Skimp. Um, and then I haven't used any other colors because I just got it. Um, but the colors are really nice, very wearable. I'm actually really excited for this color, Infamous. Um, it's a really, it looks like a really pretty darker magenta pink. Um, and like I figured, I, I don't know if these colors are old and they just renamed them. But, um, yeah, it's cute. And so, so I got that. And because my birthday is coming up this month, um, obviously you get your Sephora birthday gift. I can't decide whether I like this more or those nail polish that I got like a couple years ago or um, the uh, the mascara and liner set that we I got last time, last year. But this is, I guess, better. This is by Philosophy. It's called Happy Birthday Beautiful. Uh, vanilla birthday cake shampoo and shower gel and bubble bath. 
I'm not sure if I like the idea of having my shampoo and my shower gel in the same bottle. Like, I don't understand that concept, and I don't understand how you could even mix the two into one bottle. So I'm definitely not using this in my hair. Um, for me, So maybe when I go traveling, I'll bring this as a shower gel. Maybe a bubble bath, but I don't generally use the tub in a bath in the hotels anyway. So, um, but I haven't smelled this yet. Ew, it smells plastic. Anyways, yeah, so there goes my review for that. So this is it, and it's kind of a bigger bottle, so yes, that's not a bad thing. Um, next, I got, um, due to a few gurus on here that has, that actually bought this, I went out and purchased myself the Tarte uh, Lip Surgeons, uh, Lip Lusters, like this. Oops, I, you can't see it. Um, like these. Um, I've used them. Uh, they're kind of, they kind of remind me of um the lip butters that Revlon is coming out with. Um, just because it's a really soft consistency and it's like this is this one is in. Um. Dazzled. And this is what it looks like. Um, and it's good because you don't have to sharpen, obviously, and you just it's a twist top at the bottom and you twist it out. Um, do I like them? Yeah. But do I think the colors could be a bit better? Yeah. But I guess this wasn't too expensive and there was like five of them. And they actually they actually smell really good. So I don't mind it. Um, this is Perky. Right there. You can't really see, but yeah, you can in there. Um, I'll swatch another one. This one is flashy. Um, there's a lot of color in these, which is good. Um, this one. So, or should I just finish swatching all of them? Maybe I should just swatch all of them for you guys. Uh, this is Swank. This is a really, really, actually really nice, too. It's a nice red. Very subtle. Swanky. Um, and then last one is Glitzy. I think this is this could be a little bit darker. Um, I think these might actually have more pigmentation than the Revlon Lip Butters. That's Glitzy. So, um... Very good products overall. Um, would I feature them in my favorites? I'm not sure because I haven't actually used them to its full potential. I will though uh, because it's getting really cold in Toronto and well, it's starting to get cold and it's getting really dry and I actually hate wearing lipstick in the winter time because it always dries out my, my lips. Um, but then I hate wearing lip gloss too because then when the wind blows it sticks to my it gets in my hair, like when my hair blows like like this. And then it, my hair is on my face. And then I have little lines of lip gloss all over my face. Or my sunglasses like this. Anyways. Um, so yeah. Uh, I got my hair done yesterday. I don't know if you can tell. It's a mess today. She curled it really nice. And by the end of the night, I looked like a shaggy dog. So that was kind of disappointing. Um, what else? Uh, what else do I have to tell you? Um, okay, my lashes. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Um, they are the can make or can, no, candy doll lashes um, that I bought in Japan. They're actually really outrageous. They don't look as bad on camera, but in the packaging, it looks like you have like spikes coming out of your eyes, but cute and nonetheless. Um, obviously not for daily wear, but on the weekends, why not? Um, so yeah, uh, I will do another video soon. Uh, look out for it. But anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.